Hey everyone, today I want to discuss the charger issue. When I'm playing with my Win 5, this is what I typically use. This is the Lenovo Xiaoxin CC 100W charger. It can properly boot up the device and allow you to play games at 70 watts. I'll demonstrate that for you right now. And this cable I'm holding originally came included with the charger itself. It should be a 6A cable. This is because if a cable with less than 5A is used, the Win 5 will likely not be able to power on and boot up properly. Once it's plugged in, the indicator light will come on, and then you can simply long press the power button to turn it on. Okay, it's booted up. I'm setting the power consumption to 70 watts. As you can see, it's now displaying 70 watts, and I'll proceed to launch Black Myth Wukong. Now that we've loaded into the game, I'm going to launch a scene, specifically a rather complex one, the infinite wind scene. You see, the Unreal Engine won't fully utilize the 70 watts. So even at 70 watts, it might draw around 50 to 60 watts. That's the thing. This charger is quite dependable, it won't just unexpectedly shut down or anything similar. In my previous videos, I've consistently powered the Win 5 at 70 watts for gameplay with this specific charger. Now, I'm going to test out a different charger because not all 100 watt chargers are actually capable of supplying 70 watts to the device. This charger was used for gaming. This is also a 100 watt charger. Specifically, it's the Flyer number 1 laptop charger, which is actually the same 100 watt charger that was included with the Winx Player Mini. This one is also rated at 100 watts, so let's test if it can power on the device and run games. The indicator light is on, meaning it can power up. A long press of the power button also successfully turns it on. It should be able to power on, and it's already turned on now. I'll use the default power output for now, without tweaking the power consumption. Let's try to get into Black Myth, Wukong. From prior experience running Black Myth, Wukong like this will cause it to shut down automatically as its instantaneous power consumption can exceed 50 watts. The CPU's instantaneous power consumption can exceed 50 watts, with the total potentially reaching between 70 to 80 watts. And there you have it, it just experienced an automatic shutdown. Nevertheless, this doesn't imply it's entirely unplayable. You can still initiate a game after making some adjustments. I'm going to play at 40 watts, so let's give that a try now. If I power it on and then set the power output to 40 watts, it should run without any issues. At 40 watts, the 395 CPU in this Win 5 can basically deliver 70 to 80 percent of its performance. The device can still power on normally without any issues at this point. 
Currently, I've set the power consumption limit to 40 watts. I've tested 40 watts previously, and it allowed me to successfully launch and enter games. However, a crucial requirement for achieving this 40 watt output is that the cable used must be a 6A cable. Previously I tested the ZMI original cable and it couldn't support 40 watts, though it did support 35 watts. This implies that the effectiveness of the power supply is highly dependent on the precise combination of the cable and the charging head. The game has already started. I'll soon enter the infinite wind scene to observe it. That specific scene is quite complex, as the snow involves numerous particles, and the liquid system is demanding, with an abundance of fluids and hair effects. Consequently, this particular scene has the potential to fully utilize the system's performance capabilities. Even at just 40 watts, it can actually achieve 60 to 70 frames per second, making it perfectly playable. So, with 40 watts delivering 60 to 70 frames per second, you can comfortably play this game with great fluidity. This is currently operating at 40 watts. It won't experience an automatic shutdown because I've thoroughly tested this before. This is merely a simple demonstration for your benefit. Moreover, none of these 65 watt chargers can even successfully power on the device. So, when you plug them in, a red indicator light might illuminate, but even if you press and hold the power button, it simply won't boot up. These specific chargers and cables are designed for the Winx Player Mini, not for the Win 5, which explains why the Winx Player Mini had been utilizing them. When you press the button, it might just. Occasionally, the GPD logo might flicker on the screen for a moment. However, most of the time, even the logo fails to appear, indicating a total power failure. See? It automatically shuts down. So the conclusion is that not all 100 watt chargers will fail to power it on. This Lenovo Xiaoxin CC 100 watt charger can indeed power it on and even allow you to play games at 70 watts. So if you're looking to purchase one, you can opt for this particular charger. Because this charger can be found on certain online marketplaces for just a few tens of yuan. However, experts invariably recommend a 140 watt charger for its superior stability. Regarding 140 watt GAN chargers, if you haven't purchased one yet, it would be wise to acquire a model of 140 watts or greater. But if you already possess a 100 watt charger, you can try it out to see if it can be used with this Win 5. The original DC charger it comes with is quite stable, but if you find that charger inconvenient to carry around, considering it weighs over a pound with its cables, and you prefer something more portable, then this one is a good option. It's actually quite compact. GAN and PD chargers are notably compact, which makes them quite suitable for carrying along when you're out and about. Therefore, if you're deciding, you might want to choose this 100 watt Lenovo Xiaoxin CC. The quality of chargers from a major brand is considerably better than those, uh... Smaller brand chargers are often more stable because they're all rated at 100 watts. However, this Flyer number 1 laptop charger might only support up to 80 or 90 watts. When there's a sudden surge in power consumption, it instantly turns off so you can only play games at 40 watts. If you own one, feel free to give it a try. You don't necessarily have to buy a 140 watt or higher one. If you don't have a high power gay NPD charger, choose one that's 120 watt or 140 watt and up. If you have a 100 watt, try it first at 40 to 50 watt lower power consumption and the cable that also needs careful selection. The device is very picky about cables. It needs something like a 6A cable. This cable I'm using came with the Lenovo Xiaoxin CC charger, so you don't need to buy one separately. 
When you buy this charger for around 10 bucks, it comes with a 6A cable like this. If you were to buy this 6A cable by itself, it would probably cost you a few dollars anyway. So I highly recommend this particular charger, and I think it's definitely worth checking out for everyone. That brings us to the end of today's session.